Hey everyone, this is John again. This is uh, one of two videos discussing a lightsaber recently put together using parts from the thecustomsabershop.com. I highly recommend them. Uh, as you can see, this is based on Luke Skywalker's Return of the Jedi lightsaber. A few um, scale inaccuracies due to being able to, for example, fit a one inch blade, so this is going to be wider than quote unquote the, the real prop. But uh, nonetheless, I think a fairly accurate representation of his saber. Um, Pretty basic on the outside, uh, this is a popular saber layout and you can get all the parts at, at the custom saber shop with the exception of this part currently, um, uh, which as you can see takes the ribs to the end instead of the, the wider piece, but still uh, a great piece of kit. It's a very plain saber as it sits right now and really um, the, the main innovation here is going to be shown in the second video with the inside uh, G-Core and also I want to show you what I did with the switch. This switch, as you can see here, what I did was I took a pin and a little spring, and what that does is it sits in here so that when I press down on this uh, on this switch plate, this pin protrudes down into the body of the saber just enough to hit a tactile momentary switch to activate the ultrasound board in there. Um, the spring then pushes it back out and it's out of the way so that I can then uh, unscrew the saber and show you the inner bits. So, anyway, look at the second video. I'll show you what's on the inside, which is really the the coolest part about this saber for now. Suffice to say that this um, nondescript clear plate, you can give it a tap, and it'll turn on the lightsaber. So, pretty cool. And uh, again, as you can see, nothing's there. Low pro profile look. And when you're ready to shut it off, just. Uh, Hold down for a couple of seconds, and it'll power off. So check out the second video, and we'll see what's on the inside. 